In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can connect Notion to Google Calendar. Now, it's a super straightforward thing to do, but beware that there are a few steps in it that you need to follow. So make sure you watch the video the whole way through and pay close attention at each step of the way. Now, one more thing before I get into it, please make sure you like, subscribe and comment down below if you find this video helpful. So the first thing you need to do here is actually load up your Notion here. You can see I've got mine loaded up here. I'm actually logged in. Now, there's a ton of different things that we can do to connect it to Google Calendar. But the method I'm going to teach you now is by far the easiest. So what you want to do is go to the top right here. There's a three dots here and you want to go down to where it said add connections. So I'm going to go down here to manage connections. Now, once I'm in the manage connection section, I can go to where it says see all. I'm going to click this. And it's going to show me all the different things we can connect it to. If you look here, there's tons and tons of different things. So if you actually go ahead and click on the browse connections in gallery, it's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. And you can, st you can see there's tons of different things that you can actually connect it to. Now, if I go ahead and type in Google, you're going to see there's two places. I've got Google Drive and Google Workspace. Now, Google Drive is obviously your drive, so it allows you to um, bring docs, sheets, and slides into Notion, which is a really useful feature. And then the other one here is Google Workspace. So it allows you to set up automated user provisioning via your Google Workspace, basically meaning that you can give people access and stuff. But what you'll notice is that there is no way for you to integrate Google Calendar. So we're actually going to have to use a third party software for that, which is quite annoying. It is free and I'm going to show you what it's called up here. So it's actually called Zapier and it looks something like this. You can type in zapier.com. I'm going to go to this website here and we can actually start free with our email or with Google. I'm going to use Google here. So I'm going to click start free with Google and boom, it's going to look like this once you connect your Google account to it. Now I actually have some zaps here but I'm going to create a new one for this here. Now I am on the free plan and you might have to upgrade to the paid plan if you have multiple things you wanted to do. So I'm actually going to click here where it says create zap. And what you can do here is you can actually use AI to generate what you want to happen. So this is like, if you have something in mind, you can use this or you can do it manually. For the sake of the video, I'll show you how to do it manually because this is a bit more of a uh, proper guide. So click on here and this is the trigger. Now the trigger is what triggers this to happen. So you can either connect it from Google Calendar or Notion. So what you could do is if you have a new event which is added in Google Calendar, you could send that to Notion. Or you could do it so when you get a new thing in Notion, it sends it to Google Calendar. It's completely up to you. I'm going to go with the Google Calendar option first. So. This is the trigger, Google Calendar. Over here, you can see the event. So, event cancelled, event ended, event start, new calendar, new event, new event matching search, new or updated event. Now, there's a million different things you might want to do for this. For example, maybe you want to track your leads or your, maybe you want to track your call rate or something, you know, the percent of people that show up to a call. So, what we could do is event start, for example. So when I click continue here, it's actually going to get me to sign into Google Calendar. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I've I've added my Google Calendar here and I'm going to select the trigger. So calendar. So this is the calendar that you'll pick from. This is the time. So how far before the event you want to trigger it. The time is in minutes. The search term. So this is in, this is, um. this will only tr trigger for events that have certain things in the, t the title. So say, so you have something called like discovery call, you could put that in there. So we could actually click continue there. And that's going to link that up. Now, once you've done that, we can go to the action here, which can be the notion side of it. So I'm going to click on action and I'm going to type in notion. Oh, that's found notion wrong. Notion. Uh, oh, I've done it again. Notion. Okay, here we go. So we can click here. And again, it's going to um, ask for our event. So what do we want to happen when we have this trigger happen? So let's say we want a new page. We can do that. I can hit continue. And it's going to get us to select an account. So I'm going to click choose. And I'm going to select my Notion account. 
So in here, it's going to ask you for the parent page. So you can select the parent page that you want it to be on. I'm going to just click and select one in here. So now I'm going to get it to put the title in. Now, I haven't actually configured this properly, but what we could do is have a dynamic title. So this will put the title in here dynamically. And then the content, we can also put the content in here dynamically from Google Calendar. So you can change that according to your specific needs. We're going to continue here. And if we want to, we can click test step and that's basically going to test that it all works out. So that's basically one way that you can link it. Now we can actually add steps before and after. So we can add a step in here. So if we wanted to add a delay, we could do that. So we could add a delay here. So let's say we, you know, delay for X minutes or we could delay until I can actually delete this here. Or we could do something like a filter. So we could filter this by choose field. So once I've got, once I've set this up, you could change the fields to filter by. You could choose conditions. So you could say text is, you could, you know, you could change any of these based on what you need. So you could say text contains a discovery call and you can have a yes or no. You can have the text here. You can have an and or an or whatever logic you need here. Uh, you can have tables here, you can format here, and you can also have an in like an intermediary, you know, so a different action that happens before the notion bit. And then we can have the option to add something afterwards as well. So let's say, you know, we put it in the notion database. Let's say we also want to, I don't know, put a path step in there. We can have different rules for different path options. We could even put that up here if we wanted to. There's, there's, this is, there's 20 different built-in tools that you can actually have here. So you, you can have web hooks. You can have the path section, as I was saying. But really experiment with what you need. So, you know, we could have it, we could have it do this path if something happens or this path of something else happens. So maybe you want to set up, set up an automation. So if the person doesn't show up, you might want to put it into your notion and also send an email flow. If they do show up, you might want to put it into your notion somewhere else. You might want to have, you know, assign this to someone to follow up on them. There's a million and one different options that you can actually use here. Once you're ready to go, you just turn it on here. Um, I'd have to fix this to publish it because I've got some errors, but you can just publish it and uh, that would go ahead and work. Also make sure you test the events before you, you know, let it run just to make sure it's working or well. But that's basically how you do it. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that it worked. Thank you for watching.